For frontline troops, this is the future. UGVs or uncrewed ground vehicles are going to become commonplace on the battlefield and this one called Themis is among the most advanced there is. Developed in Estonia, 15 of these have already seen action in Ukraine, transporting ammunition and supplies and evacuating injured soldiers. So this vehicle was developed to support uh, uh, dismounted troops. So it's a, like a wingman for a soldier. So you can have uh, different versions of it. You can put the machine gun on top of that. You can put radio equipment, uh, different sensors, anti-tank systems. You can also transport the wounded persons. You can use the vehicle for logistics, mine clearance, whatever is there. Themis is short for Tracked Hybrid Modular Infantry System. It weighs just over 1,600 kilos and is powered by a hybrid diesel electric engine. It has a top speed of 12 miles per hour. Fully fueled, it can operate in the field for up to 15 hours and carry a payload of 1,200 kilos, about the weight of a Ford Fiesta. This vehicle could be operated remotely so that there is an operator, human operator, who steers the vehicle and, uh, and manages it, but also it has autonomy functions. So you can give the point where it should go, it goes there. You can say to the vehicle, go home now, it goes back to home, the same route that, that it came there. You can also create a convoy and you can uh, steer the uh, first vehicle. I mean, operator can do that and all other vehicles are following it. In December, Ukraine launched its first entirely robotic assault near Kharkiv. From the air, dozens of FPV drones attacked a Russian position, while on the ground, UGVs, some filled with explosives, others fitted with machine guns, stormed the trench line. Ukraine says the attack was a total success. Only two UGVs were lost, stranded in the boggy terrain, while the Russians suffered scores of casualties. This robotic revolution is going to completely reshape the modern battlefield. Although we're not yet in the realm of robot wars, artificial intelligence, AI, is allowing these machines to do lots of the jobs that soldiers would have traditionally done, everything from logistics resupply through to casualty evacuation. The limiting factor really isn't the technology because that's moving at a hugely rapid pace. It's military doctrine. How much freedom will militaries give these machines to make decisions on their own. But I would say this way that uh, Russia and China doesn't have this kind of restrictions. So if you're on the battlefield and the adversary can actually operate independently without human involvement, much rapidly, very, very efficiently, and we have to make the decisions every time when we want to engage something, then I, I think there is a, you know, thinking, or there is a point to consider that do we really want that. Themis can be controlled remotely from a mile away, but that range can be vastly increased to hundreds, even thousands of miles using airborne relays and satellite systems like Starlink. And in Ukraine, operators are using tech that allows them to control multiple robots and drones at the same time. So that is possible only through introduction of autonomy. So you might task a UGV to carry out a fairly simple order of moving from A to B, but you can also extend that with autonomous functions to take action. Uh, obviously, the rules are you can't shoot autonomously, but you can do other stuff, which is collect information, you can observe, uh, you can listen, you can take ammunition and you can bring something back. Unfortunately, sometimes it, um, it's a Kasavak situation. So merging the world between a person and a system and an autonomous function it allows us to look at the, the future battlefield uh, from a point of view of one or two operators controlling, uh, I wouldn't say a swarm, but a group of, of UGVs. Milrem has doubled in size in just a few years and at their headquarters in Tallinn they've opened a new factory which can produce 500 Themis platforms a year. As well as providing key with vehicles, the company also sends engineers to Ukraine to help repair damaged robots and to teach Ukrainian troops how to maintain them. The biggest threat at the moment is uh, electronic warfare and uh, our Themis is hold up pretty well against that threat. For the time being, uh, not a single Themis has been taken over. Um, where we've uh, lost a Themis is through a direct attack attack and you, you've probably seen that also exhibited from the Russian side as a trophy as well but 
Not a single Themis has been lost because we have lost control to it. Themis has been sold to 19 countries, this latest batch destined for the Middle East. Former US Army Chief General Mark Milley says he believes a third of the US military will be robotic within 15 years. In Ukraine, that fusion of human and machine is already happening as the pace of technology and innovation accelerates to match the pace of the threat. The age of the lethal combat robot has arrived. Simon Newton, Forces News, Estonia. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.